Hello, I'm Dr. Wilmot. Uh, I'm a transplant cardiologist at Cincinnati Children's. We're going to take some time today to sit with a few families here in the lobby of the Heart Institute. We receive questions from families every day about how a heart transplant will affect the quality of life after surgery. Let's sit down and meet our first family, Reese and Lori. So our daughter is very active and loves to move. Are there any restrictions for a typical two-year-old? We usually uh, recommend um, that children protect their chests after heart surgery, but it's very hard to restrict a two-year-old, as you know. So we try our best to try and restrict them from using a lot of their muscles that influence where their recent wounds are healing. Um, but otherwise, we like to actually have them continue with their normal everyday lives. So how much time after surgery should we plan to be at home with our child? We plan on uh, all families uh, live locally within the Cincinnati area, a nine mile radius of the hospital within the first three months. Um, following that, we require that you live within a four hour uh, limit of the Cincinnati Children's Hospital within the first year after transplant. So after three months, is it a reasonable time to expect to go back to work? If everything is proceeding um, with the medical treatment um, and the team has cleared you, then yes. So my husband and I both work, and she's typically in daycare. When would be a reasonable amount of time to resume our usual schedules? We require at least three months out from transplant, um, and at that point, if everything is going well, we usually clear families to re return back to work. What about teens? They're typically more active and independent. Let's sit down with Jawad and see how he may be impacted by a heart transplant. I would like to go to the amusement park with a surgery who have any restrictions with it. So after a heart transplant, we do want your breastbone to heal after the surgery, and that usually takes about six to eight weeks. But after that, and you're healed, and as you're cleared by your medical team, then you will be able to participate with amusement rides and roller coasters if that's what you enjoy. So how about sports? I'm very active. Do I need to worry about anything that compounds to sports? So we want you to participate in sports, uh, certain competitive sports and like uh, very elite level sports um, or something you have to clear with your medical team. But we do want you to be active and many of our transplant patients are even involved in rehab programs after transplant to get healthy and fit after their recovery. I like to go to the mall and see movies with my friends. How long do I have to wait to spend time with my friends? If you do go to the mall with your friends, we do ask you to wear a mask in that first three month time period. If you're cleared by your medical team, then you may not have to need to wear a mask after that. I'll be driving one year. Will this affect me anyway? Or will, will I be able to drive? It's a really good question, too. Many of our patients also, um, as they get older, want to drive. As long as we clear you from a transplant standpoint and your body is healed, then yes, you should be able to drive a car. Now let's chat with Wednesday and her mom and see what questions they may have. A lot of people are going to want to visit her. How long and how many people should we limit that to? It really depends. We obviously don't want anyone that has an infection, active infection, to be visiting. And we also want uh, our families to not take any increased risks, so the first time shouldn't be a Thanksgiving meal. But we do want to make sure that family visits, so we don't restrict to absolute numbers. Um, but we do want to make sure that um, during that time you're wearing a mask if you're traveling, um, or family members are visiting or washing their hands. She goes to daycare. Is there anything that I should be aware of when I introduce her back into the daycare? We would want to make sure that all the prov providers in daycare were trained um, and also aware of some of the things to look for in a transplant patient. Um, if she was taking any of her medications at daycare, we'd also want to make sure that you were comfortable with it. Um, and we would also want to make sure that she's at least three months out from transplant and that the team had medically cleared her for that. Any things that you wish other families would have known? The hardest part with this was trying to get people to understand the medicines and the importance of them. And a large part of it is education, is making people aware that are taking care of her family members as well. And a lot of the restrictions that we impose are for her safety long term. Zoe is in middle school and loves to interact and play with her friends. Let's find out what life after surgery looks like for her. Will Zoe be able to jump rope and play ball at recess with all of her other classmates? She will. Uh, after her recovery from her surgery, she should be able to go out there and play kickball and jump rope with her friends. Should Zoe completely avoid anyone that is sick? She should. So any sick contacts should be avoided um, and everyone should wash their hands um, to avoid any types of infections. When can Zoe go to other friends' houses to play? Or can she go to other friends' houses to play? One of the things that we would require is that Zoe is stable from a transplant standpoint, at least three months out from her transplant, um, that no one's actively infected in that area. But we want Zoe to live a healthy life and a normal teenager, um, and making sure that she enjoys life to the fullest um, in a safe way. 
Thank you so much for joining us. It is our goal here at the Heart Institute at Cincinnati Children's to educate and inform our patients. We would love to hear from you. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us with questions.